So we're here today with Dr. Axelrod, a breast surgeon at NYU Langone. Um, I'm Stephanie Boffarb. I'm uh, the Ovarian Cancer Program Director at SHARE, and we're here to ask you about this coronavirus. How concerned should patient, cancer patients be? So coronavirus, you can't obviously pick up a newspaper or listen to the news without hearing about coronavirus. Coronavirus has been around for many, many years. Coronavirus is the cause of upper respiratory infections, of you know, many, just, you know, many, many things as we know as a common cold. Uh, and 80% of all coronavirus is not dangerous. About 15% is something that you would go to the doctor for, and about 3% is a really serious illness. So with coronavirus, there's a new strain called the COVID-19, and that's what most people are hearing. That's what started in Wuhan, in the Wuhan province in China. Uh, it is a virus that can be, uh, the vector can be an animal instead of just a human. And so that's how it's believed to have started in China. Uh, but we know that it's now really a pandemic. It's throughout many different countries, and it probably will just increase. Uh, some of it, obviously, is just the flu, but some of it is significant coronavirus or COVID-19. And there are things that you can do to prevent or to reduce your risk of getting the virus. Okay, yeah, tell us about that. So the virus is um, covered in a lipid cover or a fatty cover. So washing your hands with soap and water is very good in trying to break that cover. Okay, and so obviously soap, water, uh, alcohol is very good. Wiping down surfaces with, you know, just the type of cleaners that you use in the house. And then after you do that, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Now I've heard that some people say wash your hands for 20 seconds for the time it takes for you to sing happy birthday twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but however you want to do it, if you want to time it, that's fine. Washing your hands. And then after you wash your hands, not touching your face, not touching your eyes, not touching your nose, not touching your mouth, because this is all the entryway or the front door <laughs> for the virus to get in. So I think that that's very important. A lot of it is common sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but for people who have had cancer, people on chemotherapy, so they are immunosuppressed. Should they not go for their chemotherapy? No, they should go for their chemotherapy as long as the facility, you know, is scheduled and is scheduling them. Um, if there's any question, they should ask their medical oncologist about it. But if you are immunocompromised after you have your chemotherapy, um, you can take precautions. I, I probably, just common sense wise, I don't think that it would be a great idea to go into, you know, a very, very crowded spot. Uh, do I think that you could go to work? Yeah, but I think that you should take precautions. The you know the most important is the hand washing with soap and water. You could also use alcohol. The you know cleaning surfaces. Mm -hmm. You know it spreads by droplet, so it could spread. You could be six six um, feet away, and, mm -hmm. and it could it could spread that way. Mm -hmm. So if someone's sneezing, you have a droplet you know, on a surface a ways away, you put your hand there and you put it to your face, you know, it's easy to see how it yeah. could be transmitted. So I think all of that is very important. Make sure that you get your flu shot. Mm -hmm. And if there's absolutely any question, for someone who, you know, is undergoing chemotherapy, has a fever, has an upper respiratory infection, has shortness of breath, has a cough, these are all things that I would call the physician and let right. them know mm -hmm. because this is something where uh, maybe it could be coronavirus that can catapult into a serious illness. Mm -hmm. I think for the majority of people that are not immunocompromised, that are not on chemotherapy, I think that most of the coronaviruses will be treated symptomatically, cough suppressants, mm -hmm. uh, fever suppressants, etc. And I think that it will just run its course. Okay. Kind of, you know, like the flu. And the flu is far more common. Right, right. 
Well, thank you so much for all that insight. Um, and we'll have some links below where you can find out more information about this.